Hello family, welcome to today's devotion. Today's topic is, Are you rich towards God? Our anchor scripture is going to be taken from Luke 12, the verse 16 to 21. And it reads, It says, And he spoke a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? because I have no room to store my cross. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will, there will I store all my crops and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have many goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. It says, But God said unto him, You fool, this night your soul shall be required of you. Then whose shall those things be which you have prepared? So is he that lays up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. Brethren, it is possible to make investments and toil hard and still not be rich towards God. Many people, just like the man, the rich man we read about, work hard and toil, but they take out the God factor. To be rich toward God is to have your heart drawn toward God, just as your heart is drawn towards your riches. It involves moving toward God as to our riches and counting God's greater riches than anything on earth. It demands that we use our earthly riches to show how much we value God. This is what the prosperous farmer failed to do in our scripture reading. And the result was that he was a fool and lost his soul. The issue is not about the riches or the fact that you acquire material possessions. It becomes an issue when God ceases to be your supreme treasure and your focus and attention are fixated on the riches instead of worshiping God. Your plans and projections concerning your work, business, and your career must include God. He must be an integral part of all key decisions in your life, beloved. You don't know when you will die or when Jesus will come. Like the rich fool, many people today have the wrong notion that they will live forever. Be prepared for a moment where you will meet God any day or any time by preparing your soul for eternity. Heaven is sounding a daily clarion call to all of us. Prepare to meet your God. Say this prayer with me. Father Lord, help me to be rich toward you, even as I am blessed with earthly riches. Amen. Beloved, thank you so much. See you next time.